Barbara Bijou. So when we think about Groundhog Day, we think about the groundhog looking to see if he sees a shadow. If he sees a shadow, will there be a longer spring, a shorter spring? The truth is it doesn't really matter if he sees a shadow. This is a holiday that is really goes back to Candlemas and Imbolc which represented one of the really most powerful holidays of the year because it's the halfway point between the winter solstice, which is the longest day of the year, and the spring equinox, when day and night are equal. In Europe, the goddess Brigitte was really um, honored at this time. She's the goddess of fire. She's the goddess of smithing. She's the goddess of the hearth. The Vestal Virgins would tend her fires, and there would be many celebrations all around the grain. In fact, all throughout Europe there were many fire ceremonies at this time. It was thought that this was the early spring, so it's a time when you look at what is out of balance in your life so that you can bring it into balance by the time we get to the spring equinox. And where do we celebrate? So it's a, a purification ceremony, it's about creativity, and it's about making commitments. This year on Candlemas, the first thing I'd like you to do is do some kind of a purification ritual. Do it personally. I like to take a bath actually with sea salt and white roses. Then to look at what you want to bless. I take seeds, whether they're seeds that you're going to bless in ritual or seeds that you want to plant later on in the year, and see what it is that you really want as your full creative expression. Be as clear as possible. And then the third part is actually making a commitment. So this can be a commitment to your projects, this could be a commitment to your partner. It's a great time actually to do commitment ceremonies. This could be a commitment to your community and bring your community together. But whatever you do, remember that the roots to this holiday are very old. It's about new beginnings and commitments. In fact, if you were of the Wiccan religion, this would be the night that new witches were inducted into the coven because it's such a special time of year. Remember to purify, open up to creativity, and make a commitment to yourself.